let's get started. Hey guys, let's come out and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be following a tutorial on how to make a friendship bracelet. This will be my first time making a friendship bracelet. Um, since I had all this friendship thread, I thought I would make a friendship bracelet. That's the first thing that came to mind. So for my friendship bracelet, I will be using the colors yellow, blue, orange, and as you guys can see, I added in a fourth color, which is a light purple color. Okay, so in the video it said cut the thread to 60 inches, so that is what I did with all four pieces a thread, and here I'm just showing you guys the length of the thread, and it was very long. Here I am tying a loop in the thread. All I did was fold the thread in half, and then now to make the loop, I am looping the thread around my fingers and pushing the loop through the hole that I just made or that I just slipped my finger out of and then pulling that tight to make a loop. Here I am trying to tape the thread down with the tape onto the desk, however the tape wasn't sticking to the thread nor was it sticking to the desk. So I switched to this clipboard that says, are you kidding me, write me out, that I got from Justice, and I clipped the thread onto there. So the video or the tutorial said to spread the strands of thread, and it said to spread them a specific way. So as you can see, I took one orange string and spread it on the left side, as well as I did the right. And I'm gonna keep doing this until the strands are evenly spreaded. So here I am taking the outermost left strand that is going to be my working strand. So I'm going to put that and make a four over the strand closest to the working strand and looping the end of it through the hole um, that I've created. Um, looping it through the hole underwards and I'm going to do that twice on each strand. So once again, I'm going to create a four, take the end of the strand and loop that through under the yellow strand and loop that through the hole in the middle and pull it tight, closes to the knot up top that you created with your loop and I'm going to continue doing that throughout the colors. Hopefully that makes sense of what I just explained. If not, you guys can see what I'm doing here.
Okay, so once I reach the first purple strand, I'm going to stop and repeat the same process on the right hand side, just doing a backwards four motion. So in this clip, I didn't show you guys that I did the backwards four motion, but I really did. I did the same thing that I did on the left side, just on the right side, just in a backwards four motion. If you guys are still struggling with that part, I will try to link the tutorial that I used down below. If I didn't figure out how to link it down below, you guys saw me look it up and saw which tutorial that I used. Also, this type of bracelet took me hours to make just because I had to make each and every knot for it. The type of bracelet that I am making is a chevron bracelet. Okay guys, so after hours of braiding later, this is how the bracelet turned out. There's a bunch of different colors and this is the chevron pattern. The colors are all in rows. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up as like every YouTuber say. And I'll see you guys in the next video.